I hear this phrase a lot. Oh, I really want to go plant-based, but what happens if I go to a normal restaurant with my friends and there's nothing to eat? It'll be so awkward, what do I do? Therefore, I decided to test this out. I'd like to point out that I am currently based in Sofia, Bulgaria, and that actually makes this a lot more difficult than let's say if you were in London, in Berlin, or any other capitals of veganism. Bulgaria is not one of them, unfortunately not yet, but we are getting stronger in that region, which I'm very happy about. I went to several non-vegan restaurants from very, very basic ones that are budget friendly to a little bit more fancier and a little bit high class just to see what my options were. Could I really eat there as a vegan and be satisfied? Is that a possibility? Let's find out. The first place I went to is Happy Bar and Grill. This is probably the most well-known restaurant chain in Bulgaria. It was founded in Varna in 1994 and has since grown to managing 23 restaurants, and one of those even being in London, England. The vibe is very Americanized, giving it that diner aesthetic with pretty much everything you can think of on the menu. It's basically like the Hooters of Bulgaria. I was pleasantly surprised to see that the menu had recently been adapted and vegan options were everywhere on the couple of front pages at least. We ended up trying falafels with vegan yogurt, a health salad, a Corsica salad, and we got some fresh ciabatta bread to go with that. For beverages, we got one of their famous lemonades in elderflower flavor. The Corsica salad was actually very delicious and super creamy from the mixture of avocado and hummus, which surprisingly went very well together. The health salad tasted pretty much like, well, cabbage. But I mean, it wasn't bad. The bread was so crunchy and actually extremely delicious. And the falafel bowls were full of flavor, but a little bit too mushy for my taste. Still good though. And I would hundred percent get them again. My only critique is the food at Happy, in my opinion, is very oily. They really need to tone down on the amount of oil they use in their dishes. Also, that wasn't lemonade. That was just pure sugar. Big no from me. The entire meal came down to around 35 leva altogether. And would I come again? Yeah, why not? After lunch, we were craving something sweet. And unfortunately, Happy didn't have any vegan options in the dessert department. So we went to search elsewhere. We came across Nedela, translation, Sunday. This is an all time favorite confectionery to Bulgarians and it offers all sorts of handmade on the day desserts. Unfortunately though, absolutely no vegan options in sight. How sad. I hope they decide to change this soon. The next place I really wanted to try out is Shtaslivica. Shtaslivica was established in Veliko Trnovo in 1997. It's named Shtaslivica, translation the lucky one, derived from ex-lawyer and writer Aleko Konstantinov, who rose to fame after his success on Bay Gagno. He writes about the complex economic and socio-psychological issues of the time. The restaurant has a really cozy vintage atmosphere that makes you feel super welcome. Paintings all over the walls and a gorgeous centerpiece of lights twinkling all the way down. The menu was big. The vegan options were limited, but they were there. We decided to try the beetroot and lentil balls, the three seed risotto, broccoli sauteed with coconut butter and lemon, a salad with tomatoes and this type of pepper mixed ragu thing, and bread chips. Oh, I also got myself a homemade lemonade, so let's see how this one went. The food was excellent, and I really don't say this often. Everything was sauteed so well and tasted incredible. The beetroot and lentil balls were so soft they melted in your mouth. The salad was a little sour, but in a good way, and a slight sweetness to it, which balanced it out nicely. I have to tell you that broccoli has never tasted this good before. Coconut butter and lemon? I would never think of that myself, but it tasted so damn good. The chips were nice and crispy, just how they should be. The only thing that was a tiny bit of a letdown was the risotto. Still great, but could have been creamier as it was a little bit on the dry side. Oh, and the lemonade? The lemonade was pretty great. Slightly sweet, but not sickly sweet. It originally comes with honey, but I asked for it without so that it's vegan, of course. The entire meal came down to around 80 leva altogether. And would I come again? Yes, definitely. A little on the pricier side, but 100% worth it. The final place I went to is the the Ozone Sky Bar and Lounge located on the 29th floor of the Grand Hotel Millennium. Obviously this place is 
extra AF and not your standard dine-out place. However, I wanted to see if one was asked out here and was vegan, what could one eat and drink? The sky bar itself has a tranquil and luxurious atmosphere. You're able to look out onto the whole city and it really is a stunning viewpoint and a wonderful experience. As for the menu, yeah, I mean, it wasn't cheap. We ended up each getting a mocktail, which honestly just tasted like water with a slightly infused cucumber flavor, which was 15 leva, by the way. And for food, I got myself a pasta arrabbiata because I was so hungry and the vegan options were very limited. There were only three, I believe. We also got a side dish of hummus, which came with veggie sticks and some crackers, which wasn't bad actually, but I mean, it's hummus with veggie sticks. What more can I really say about it? The highlight of the evening though had to be the vegan cake. Wow. It was genuinely super creamy and actually insanely good. I guess the point of this place is to enjoy the view over a nice alcoholic beverage, that is if you drink. Otherwise, I would not recommend coming to eat here. But if you do, there are options. Just get the cake. The entire meal came down to around 100 level altogether. And would I come again? Uh, yeah, probably not. Maybe for a cheeky pick during the day, but that's about it. If you're still wondering if it's possible to eat at a normal restaurant if you're vegan, then let me tell you, it's 100% a possibility. Obviously, you're not gonna have as many options. Obviously, it's not gonna be the greatest experience of your life, but there are options and some restaurants are much better than others as we have seen. So next time someone asks you out or you plan to go out, don't freak out. It's gonna be all right. There's gonna be something for you. And if not, just drink some water, eat some bread. I mean, bread's always a good option, isn't it? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know, let me know. You know the drill. And that's honestly it. Gonna go now. I will see you next week with another brand new video. Bye. <laughs> well, I really need to work on my um, outros. They're really not the best.